beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mabruski, for beer review number 86. I know it's been a while. It's been about a week uh, with all that Christmas stuff and other stuff and things. Um, I've been busy with the holidays, so I took a little bit of a break. And I have some time now to do a video, so I'm going to shoot one up and then... Other than that, I don't know, probably take another bit of a break until the new year, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear kind of thing. All right, so let's see what we got today. Today we have uh, Frau Ouch from William Rose Brewing Company out in uh, Scotland. It is their Heather Ale. So it says light amber ale with floral aromas and spicy herbal finish. Coming in at, where did it say, 5% alcohol. And an IBUs, uh, I'm not too sure actually on the bottle. Pretty sure it has on their website. Yes, IBUs of 12, so not bitter at all. Should be really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, let's crack her open and then we'll uh, dive right into it. All right. Of yes, Ted, couple of Brustoyevskis. All right, today we're pouring it into our Oast House pint glass. Let's see what we have got. What about that much in there for now? Screw it, let's just pour the rest in. Cool, yeah, it's only about a 330ml bottle, so it's not too much. Um, they're saying this is an light amber ale. Doesn't look amber at all to me. It looks like a, even like a light lager almost in color and carbonation. For, to the untrained eye, it seems that there's, it just looks like a regular beer. But hopefully it tastes something much, a little bit different than just a regular beer. So let's uh, stick my nose in this and see what we got. I'm getting a lot of sweet malts for sure. A little bit of zing in there, a little bit of spiciness. So spicy, spicy herbal finish, light amp with floral aroma. I'm not really getting floraliness. I didn't know if that was my fingers or the beer. Yeah, sweet sweetness. Uh, not really floral. The yeah, floral aromas, but yeah, to each their own. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip of this and see how it tastes, and then we'll cheers. Had that flavor before. No idea what it is. Big, bready finish. Big, bready, yeasty finish on there. And uh, it, it is definitely sweet, like a light sweetness to it. That sort of tastes a little florally as well, very grainy. And like I said, bready in the finish. But it's actually, it's actually really nice. It's definitely a lighter tasting beer for sure. Um, quite enjoyable so far. Let's just dive right into it. Cheers, everybody. Is that the Heather? I'm getting some, getting spicy nose. No idea what Heather um, tastes like, but it's nice. Getting a bit of a sweetness as well, like a, uh, not a syrup, or per se, maybe like a honey sweet, I don't know. It's interesting, it's interesting, it's sweeter for sure, it's like a sweet lager, in my opinion, not really an amber ale. But I guess, I guess that's what they're calling it, it's, it's damn enjoyable. Yeah, it's weird. Um, mouthfeel like a lager. Uh, yeastiness is just over, is super over the top and really done nicely well. Sweetness, it's it's just an easy drinking beer. I really like it. It's got a lot of flavor for how easy drinking it is. And uh, I think that's sometimes a thing, big thing that might turn people off with some craft beers. When they have a lot of flavor, the mouthfeel really changes and it's, it's different to them. Uh, if they're coming from like a Bud or a Canadian, this actually has a nice, you know, <clears throat> common mouthfeel <clears throat> and uh, with, a, with a lot of good flavors in it. 
nice, nice. Let's see what the uh, bottle has to say. Very nice looking logo. I didn't show you that earlier. But yeah, it looks red on the picture, but it's more of a uh, pinkish sort of color for sure. Uh, for Oach, Heather Ale. And it does have Brudande, which is. Oh, no, sorry, not a brood on date, a best before date of 09 2018. So that's really good. They have it actually in two places on the neck and on the label. Bonus. Um, they do have a description here as well. Scotland's original craft ale brewed here for over 4,000 years. Lynn Frout Heather Ale. Oh, that means Heather Ale. Cool. Is the oldest style of ale still in production today. Brewed to a 16th century recipe, Frauch is a light amber ale with a floral peaty aroma, full malt, <clears throat> full malty body, and spicy herbal finish. Hmm. Actually, quite enjoyable. Ingredients are water, malted barley, heather, hops, ginger, uh, bog mithril, bog, bog mithril, and yeast. Hmm. I also have an allergy advice. Nice. That's really cool. Hmm. Looking over on the uh, William Bros Brew website, which is williambrosbrew.com, for their Heather Ale. They do have another type of description here. The original craft beer brewed in Scotland since 2000 BC. The Brotherhood have been guardians of the ancient... Gaelic recipe for Heather Ale since 1988 and are proud to be the only brewery still producing this unique style of beer and distributing it worldwide. A light amber ale with a floral peaty aroma, full malt character, and a spicy herbal finish. This beer allows you to literally pour 4,000 years of Scottish history into a glass. It's quite interesting. Uh, they also do have tasting notes which are the appearance is clear gold and clear amber. The smell is heather, floral, caramel, and herby. And taste is multi heather, grassy, herbs, light spice, and honey. <clears throat> they also have a little bit of a bitterness scale out of five, and it's showing one. And sweetness is three and a half. On the brew sheet, they say the style is a heather ale, ABV5. IBU 12, OG, I think is the original gravity, is 1050. Malts are malted barley, caramel, malted wheat. Hops are first gold. And the fully ingredients, like I said earlier, were there. Water, malted barley, malted wheat, heather, bargain material, don't want to say that. Hops, ginger, and yeast. And also have calories. Per 100 ml, it's 48 calories. And it's available in 500 ml bottles, 330 ml bottles, keg casks. And they also say, drink heather ale with venison, haggis, or dessert. Hmm. They also have a little thing down here saying, from the drinkers of heather ale. And they got a few blurbs by three people. I'm not going to read those now. Um, so I really like that website, actually. There's a lot of information there. That's really awesome. And even when you hover over the, um, the sort of like the uh, either you're wondering what like the appearance means, the smell or the taste, you can read up a little bit of information there. Same with the ABV, IBUs, OG, Original Gravity. Really good information on the website. So, cheers to that. Moving on to Beer Advocate. The Frouch has been given a 3.75 out of five. So, very good score. Looking down for a review. Here's somebody. They've given it a 4.01 out of 5. And they say, Decanted from a 330ml bottle into a vice beer glass, the appearance is pours a dark golden to light amber color with half inch of minimal retention but modest lacing head. Yeast remains, uh, yeast remains evident. I think they mean remains. Smell, aromas of peach and grapes with spicy, peppery, and maybe dill bouquet. Taste is toasty flavor with weak caramel, pepper, star, anes, and cinnamon notes. Pleasantly sweet aftertaste. Mouthfeel is light-bodied with life, 
with light effervescence or carbonation. And overall, they say different by design and very enjoyable. Much, much lighter bitterness than hopped beers. Would definitely try again. So, good, uh, good deserving of that 4.01. Me personally, it's damn good. It has those spicy notes. That sweet little bit of what I would call honey, like, like, like they said. And um, that's really all that I can really find. It, I can't identify the other flavors, sadly. But from the person that reviewed it, they said toasty flavor with wheat, caramel, pepper. I don't get pepper. Uh, cinnamon, a little bit, a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the cinnamon on that. Yeah, I get that. Cool, cool. It's actually damn, damn delicious. So. All that said, let's, uh, let's give this a final sip and we'll uh, get to the ratings. Cheers, everybody. Okay. So, final ratings for this beer. I gotta say, it was really, it was done really, really nicely. It's, it's light, but it has a ton of flavor in there. And the flavors are amazingly well done. I gotta give this beer, mm, it looks nice, it feels nice in the mouth. Damn. I gotta give this beer a solid 8.5 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed that beer and I definitely want to pick more. It's actually from a sampler four pack from the uh, from the brewery. I think it is just a holiday special, so I'm not sure how many are left in the LCBOs around you, but definitely go out and pick up a pack, sell those three to ship a blah, 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 to drink. So see what else they have to uh, offer from William Bros Brewer. Um, moving over to presentation side of the website and the actual bottle absolutely amazing all the information is there on the website um, I wish they had the IBUs on the bottle which is kind of a bummer but eh, no big deal so I gotta give you know what wait before I give the number I gotta say on the website with all the awesome information of tasting notes the brew sheet and having the information of what those things actually stand for beautiful i love that a lot so with the uh presentation i gotta give that a solid 10 out of 10 even though the ibus aren't on the bottle the website is just so amazing and so well done it deserves that 10 out of 10 i think that just about wraps it up so if you have any comments questions um suggestions on what beers i should review Leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you'd like, remember to uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel. You know, I do beer reviews every once in a while, here and there, depending on my schedule. But yeah, I know I enjoy it. All right, so that'll do it for me, Maperuski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.